portion of Colo 8 News Now is brought to you by R.C. Willie. And welcome back. Time to talk about some comedy. We've got Mark Yaffe right here. Thank you for joining us. Also, Richard Hunter. And uh, you guys were just meeting, right? We did. Yeah. We now first time. Met. That's yeah. pretty cool because you guys are going to be performing together. Yeah. Yeah. We just met, got in a fight back in the green room. <laughs> so that's going to be a very contentious double bill tomorrow. Right. I tell you, he throws a mean left uh, joke. I just, you know, I didn't, I didn't see the punchline coming. It was and then awesome. Boom. So talk about, first of all, your set, kind of uh, your comedy, how you even got into comedy. Now, my background is in talk radio, which I, I still do. Uh, Al Madrigal from The Daily Show was the first guy that ever put me on stage a number of years ago, and I've, uh, I've been doing it ever since. I'm from Dallas, and I have a house in Las Vegas, so travel quite a bit, but uh, Reno's a great comedy market, and tomorrow night at the Knitting Factory, uh, Mark and I are doing a co-headlining bill. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very cool. And uh, Mark, you're, we've had you on before, not yeah. too long ago. Good to be back. I was promoting my CD back yes. at uh, New Year's time, and I've uh, been out touring since then. Uh, uh, first time working with Richard, I heard nothing but great things and uh, really excited to be doing the show with him. So what's it like working on the road so much? Well, it's, uh, you know, I, I was in a band for a number of years before I worked in radio. I failed at a number of careers, <laughs> Dave. Uh, there, music to radio, now to stand-up comedy. So it's, I, in a w strange way, that prepared me for it. You know, living in an Econo line van right. as a young man and traveling the highways. So it's not, not complete. I like it because there's no band now. There's just me. So <laughs> right. I don't have to uh, right. We don't have any more votes. No I just, drama. No, it's a dictatorship. It, well, and Mark, how, how how often are you on the road? Uh, probably about uh, 30 weeks a year. Wow. You know, and, and it's it's anywhere from flying to driving. One night you're in a casino, 2,000 people. The next night I'm uh, next to a Super 8, doing it for like 15 <laughs> drunk folks. It's a, it's it's a very schizophrenic job sometimes. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so talk about the show. P people can come out and uh, enjoy a great night of laughs. Yeah, Knitting Factory in downtown Rito on uh, Virginia Street. Tickets available at re.knittingfactory.com. They're eight dollars, and uh, doors are at eight. Show times at uh, 8:30. And in addition to Mark and I, I think we got. Uh, yeah. Like four other three really or four, yeah. Pat Schiller Show, the the host, the local yeah. uh, local favorite, Drake Ooh. Nelson, Brandon Lara. Uh, my buddy Adam Stone, Adam and I uh, tour a lot together on the road, so it's going to be a great show. And Knitting, Knitting Factory is a, a great venue too. There's a lot of good music shows there. It's got it's kind of a, a rock club vibe, so uh, which which is nice. I mean, I'm sure you know Mark as well. We play a lot of comedy clubs and everything, but I always like it gives a little more of an edgier vibe, you know, when it's a, a multi-purpose. I was a little disappointed to hear there will be no mosh pit. You do get chairs. <laughs> you didn't so see my set. <laughs> You've probably seen a few mosh pits in your day. I have. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, certainly sounds like a fun time. Again, you can go check it out and be a part of it in the Knitting Factory on Saturday night at 8 o'clock. Guys, thank you very much for coming in, and we'll be right back.